But the real surprise at this stage is Kevin Ferber and co-driver Brian Hardy from Pool, who are third. Ferber's getting his first drive in a works car and is out to prove he's up to it. He's seeded 24, but he's really been flying through these early stages in his two-wheel drive Peugeot and is in third place. He certainly looks to be enjoying himself in these early tarmac stages, putting the car through its paces. Still flying in third place, Kevin Ferber in the Peugeot. Tremendous drive by him. The flying Kevin Ferber in the Peugeot. But he's had problems, look at that windscreen. Bigger problems than we even thought, look at the bonnet. But he still ploughs on, desperate to prove himself in this rally and flying through the finish despite the broken windscreen and the broken bonnet. The news of Kevin Ferber is that he did in fact roll his Peugeot 205 but kept going and is just outside the top six. Flying in the last here now. This is Kevin Ferber. Third place at one time, had his problems, had a roll, now could lose some time because of a noise problem. And our old friend, spectacular as ever, Kevin Ferber in the Peugeot. Despite his problems, he's enjoying himself. Join us as we look at Kevin Ferber in car 24, the Peugeot 205. He's had an outstanding rally, throwing the two-wheel drive car around the Dorset countryside, putting in some really fast times. But the news is, following a crash earlier in the day when he rolled the car, that a road check found him to be too noisy, and he looks to have picked up a time penalty as a result. On stage six, we had a small problem in that we came over the flying finish of that stage. We actually uh, passed where the timing marker stops. Right. Uh, but just as we were exiting the stage, we were still doing over 100 mile an hour, maybe. Uh, and there were a couple of people just walking at the side of the road. And unfortunately, they got in the way of the car. And rather than risk hitting the people, we took evasive measures yeah. and uh, ended up obviously going into the scenery and turning the car over. Evidence of that crash can be seen by a broken windscreen on special stage eight. And later, a broken bonnet. A great shame when he was making such fast time. We're third overall after four stages. This is an incredible start. We're actually fastest overall on one stage. Terrific start. Obviously, we was expecting with the four-wheel drive cars that we're going to start overtaking this to some degree. Mm. But if this penalty does actually stick, the penalty that we've got now, uh, obviously, we're going to be struggling against that. Sure. But apart from that, have you enjoyed today? Oh, absolutely terrific. The stage is a, a perfect. And my local co-driver, Brian Hardy from Bournemouth, is uh, showing me the sights, and uh, I'm enjoying myself really, yeah. Well, he certainly looks as if he's been enjoying himself and has been entertaining the thousands of spectators out in the stages. But that 30-minute time penalty has put him out of the running. And surely we're going to hear a lot more about this young man, Kevin Ferber, driving the Peugeot.